This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 108 of building the Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious. Uh, this is the first of two sort of mirror duplicate issues where we're fitting the wheel arch. Well, one of them. Then we're going to do the other one. And then we're going to finish. But for now, let's have a look at Little Nobody. Um, I don't know, special guest apparently. Uh, don't know. Don't know who it is. Scott Eastwood, apparently, but oh, it's the son of Clint Eastwood. There we go. Okay, I didn't recognize him in it, but he was in it. There you go. Cool. Uh, the Dodge Shadow that looks a bit strange at the front, very 80s. Um, 1987. There we go. That's probably why it looks quite 80s, right? So, the front left wheel arch we're going to be doing there's a little bit of making to do and then assembling it, putting it in, putting the other bit in. And then putting the wheel back on. Won't take very long. We'll get this done in no time at all. Uh, NOS, nitrous oxide, uh, instantly obtain a surge of power at the push of a button. The fuel air mix becomes a, a NOS air fuel mix and it makes it explode bigger. I don't know exactly why. But, um, yeah, it's to do with chemicals and stuff. So there we go. Don't play with it unless you know what you're doing. Get a professional to do it for you. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get on with the final stretch. So the final part, or well not final, you know, some of the final parts, uh, we are assembling what we've got. We've got that bit. Now one is that bit. So it's this bit and that bit going on there. I can't quite make out what's what, but it's definitely that way. And it definitely goes on there like that. We're using some AP screws to go into there. What we've got there, there, AP. That's what that says. Let's get a couple of those out. Or three, you know, whatever. And they will go through these holes and into the bracket at the back. There's a pin holding it located in place, so you've got to get it the right way round. One and that one. Uh, I'll tighten those up momentarily. We're going to use another couple of AP screws, so it's just as well I've got an extra one out. Need an extra, extra one. There we go. So this is going on the top there. Uh, going onto that bit from the back with that going off there that way. Right. Okay. So that's going on there like that. That's going on from the front. Looks like it's going on from the back, but it's definitely going to fit on that way. There's no other way that that can go, is there? With those being raised and those not being, that's definitely going to go on that way around. Irrespective of what it looks like from the picture. Unless I've got this bit the wrong way around as well, which is entirely possible. That in there, that one in there. And then I shall get them all tightened up and then bring in the body itself and get this fitted into the wheel arch. I've got to get that fitted on there and then that's going to go on the other side basically when it's in there like that. It's going to look like that. That will do a thing. Right. Did you need that screw hole to get that in? I'll get these tightened up. I'll bring in the car and we'll see about putting this where it belongs. Right, here we have it. This is where this goes into there. So I need to make sure the wires are out of the way and sort of a bit hidden. That's going over there. We've got these two screw holes that line up over there with that. 
That's got to go down the back that way. That's got to go underneath there as well. Right, it's going to take a little bit of uh, figuring out the angle in which you've got to get this in there to get it in there. Is that going to go in there better? The other end of that wire going. Yeah, let's get that just out of the way over there. Uh, all right, I see the screw hole down there where the end of this has got to go. And that's got to go in there, right, okay. Yeah, not easy. Not easy. I'm sure there is an easy way, but it doesn't really tell me the easy way. Uh, it just says get it in position and then screw it together. So, yeah, we'll get there. That one has got to go under there. Like that. And then that should go further down. Or it would if there wasn't a big bit in the way. There we go. We can bend it a little bit, flex it a little bit. Get that done. Right, so get the wires out of the way. Get that down there. Two screws to go into there to hold this together. One right in the middle. Not there. Feels like it should be there. Yep, it fits in even like keys in around here, so that's definitely in the right place. That one there. There we go. Now we can get that one tightened up as well. These two. We go right at the very front. Through there and the one next to it. Should be where that bracket has come up to. Feels like a thing. Going in there and the last one there. Nice, hiding away. Most of the wires, there are still some visible in here, but I don't know that there's a lot you can do about that. They obviously have to go certain places, so yeah. Also, we've got the brake line wires that are still floating around there. Uh, the last thing, apart from putting the wheel back on, obviously, is getting these two more screws from here, C uh, TP screws, and this bracket goes across and covers over that unsightly And that side. There, yep, there you go. So that goes in there. Two screws to hold that in place. Nice. It just finishes off the inside of the wheel arch nicely. Better than the other side there, I think. So there we go. Uh, then we need to bring in a wheel, which I kept the cover and the screws and that in. So that just needs to go on there. That all lined up in place. The one screw that we took out already. We'll just go back in. There we have it. Get that tightened. We're away. That cover will just pop back in place. Over there. I can't do from this angle, but will be easy when you can pick the thing, whole thing up. Yeah, I'll get that on when I can get it a better angle on it. That is that another issue done. Uh, now next time, I believe we're coming back and doing exactly the same thing over the other side. So when that's done and the wheels are both on, we'll be one step away from finishing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build as much as I'm enjoying building it. And I shall see you very shortly for the penultimate issue of building your very own 1 8th scale Dodge Charger. See you soon. Bye bye for now.